Making headlines today, the White House says the suspected terrorist behind the August 2021 bombing at Kabul International Airport is dead. Officials say the man responsible for the attack that killed 13 U.S. service members and at least 150 Afghans was a leader of the Islamic State Group's Afghanistan affiliate, also known as ISIS-K. ABC's M. Wynn has the story. The suspected ISIS-K leader responsible for planning the brutal August 2021 bombing at the airport in Kabul, Afghanistan, is dead. That incident killing 13 U.S. service members and more than 150 Afghans. The Biden administration says the Taliban killed the terrorists in recent weeks, but the U.S. did not coordinate with them, a senior administration official calling the outcome significant. At the center of this image, the Pentagon identifying the lone figure dressed in black behind the U.S. service members as the bomber carrying 20 pounds of explosives packed with ball bearings. This attack happening within the dense crowds desperately trying to flee the country during the U.S.'s withdrawal, some even clinging to the side of this military jet. Marine Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover was among those killed. His family says they were informed of the ISIS-K leader's death Tuesday morning. Another terrorist being off of the face of the earth, I'm good with that. The Taliban has been in control of Afghanistan's government since 2021. The White House says they've made it clear that it is their responsibility to ensure that they give no safe haven to terrorists. Despite a senior administration official saying ISIS-K has not grown strong enough to pose a major threat outside Afghanistan, the U.S.'s top general for the Middle East gave a dire warning about the risks posed to the U.S. before Congress last month. It is my commander's estimate that they can do an external operation against U.S. or Western interests um, abroad in under six months with little to no warning. The Taliban has not taken credit for this high profile killing. And according to a senior U.S. official, it's not yet clear why. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.